Happy Saturday. I'm News 6 meteorologist Michelle Morgan. Things have significantly improved across central Florida. During the overnight hours, many of us woke up to some strong thunderstorms, which actually prompted severe thunderstorm warnings. As you can see here, things have cleared out, tracking a few isolated showers near Lakeland. You can see the timestamp. It's early this morning around 7, but still tracking some heavy downpours. Moving south of Grand Valkyria here, things have improved along our coastal spots, and we're actually looking at a pretty nice afternoon ahead across central Florida. The winds, though, will pose a problem, especially along our coastal areas. That cold front will continue to move through. Right now it is overhead. We're looking at 10 miles per hour wind gust in Leesburg, 14 miles per hour in Daytona Beach, and 19 miles per hour in Cocoa Beach. And things will remain slightly breezy as we go through our day. But again, we're looking pretty dry as we go through your Saturday afternoon. So if you have any plans, looking pretty good. As we take a look at your planning forecast, abundant sunshine as we get closer to the noon hour, temperatures at 83, 89 by 2. We'll see a daytime high of 94 degrees as we go through today, but also that cold front is going to pull in less humid air, so it's going to feel nice. We won't be dealing with that tropical feel. As we take a look at your forecast highs, 92 in Sanford, Deland at 91, as well as Leesburg, the villages at 92, but our coastal cities remaining in the middle to upper 80s all thanks to that East Coast sea breeze. Here's a look at your Mother's Day forecast. Looking great for mom. We'll see plenty of sunshine, mainly dry conditions. Temperatures in the lower 80s around lunch, if you're planning on taking her out to lunch. We'll be in the lower 90s by 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon with a few clouds around, and then lower 80s by 8 if you're taking her out to dinner. Future radar showing that cold front continuing to slide through, clearing out those clouds by 10, 11 o'clock. A few isolated showers, some sprinkles are possible. I really don't see it happening happening due to that drier air filtering in, but it's certainly possible. We may see a few clouds around the 3, 4 o'clock hour, and then tonight we look fine, nice and dry under mainly clear sky, so looking pretty good there. Here's a look at your seven days. So tomorrow, high of 91, less humid. As we head into the upcoming work week, though, we stay in the 90s, but an unsettled pattern will be with us ramping up those rain chances daily.